It's a day football history buffs will never forget. November 23rd, 1991, KU versus Missouri. I came in as a loser and I went out as a winner. What more could you ask for in a situation such as this? Five foot six, 175 pound Tony Sands rushed 58 times for 396 yards on his way to the NCAA history books. Both numbers records at the time. It was the cherry on top of a career considered one of the all time best in Lawrence. But what happens when the lights turn off? I had never prepared myself for life after the game. The thought of you know, what do I do, suicide, all this came across my mind because I didn't know what purpose in life was. After his brief pro career ended, Sands struggled with his new identity. No football, no coaches or fans, no flashing lights, just Tony. My transition was tough. I mean, I didn't know what to do. I hated football. It was disgusting to me because I felt the one thing that I thought was my life has let me down. And he's not alone. A 2019 study in the Journal of Issues in Intercollegiate Athletics took a deeper look at athletes struggling with the transition away from sports. Researchers found of 178 athletes surveyed, the majority reported, quote, a profound sense of loss upon leaving their sport. It is a deep transition when you've done something so long and now there's no help. College athletes are used to strict regiments, meals and class schedules handled for them, mandatory study hall, class checks. We're spoon fed pretty much from five years old to the time we play sports all the way up until it ends. But there's no defusing program. In the midst of his struggle, Tony went back to KU to finish his degree. That's when he got into training. He found his purpose again and his love for football. I love the game because I found out who I am as a person and that football didn't make me that person. What's making me that person now is the joy that I'm getting in my journey now to help others. These days, you can find him helping young athletes find their purpose on and off the field. It's okay to not know. It's okay to reach out and get help. You are going to be okay if you follow those steps.